Uh, good morning, everybody from San Francisco. This is uh, Pastor Keith, and I'm coming to you from the uh, San Francisco waterfront. Uh, yesterday was a big travel day for us. Uh, we left LA, flew up to San Francisco, and got in in the mid afternoon to San Francisco. Uh, and so we didn't have a lot of programming, but we had a lot of time to reflect and let uh, all of our experiences soak in and talk about them over lunch and on the airplane. Um, the big highlight for yesterday was that we got to hear Pete Doctor speak. And uh, Pete Doctor is at Pixar and he directed Inside Out and Up and Monsters Inc. and was involved in Toy Story and, um, and all kinds of stuff at Pixar from the very beginnings. And so he gave us a presentation on storytelling and what makes for a good story. And it was cool to hear different stories about um, how thing, movies like Up came about or Inside Out came about, so some behind the scenes stuff in terms of his directing process. Um, but it was primarily about storytelling and what makes for a good story. And he took us through the elements of a story and came back again to the point uh, that we have to keep remembering uh, is that stories are about relationships, which are the most important things in our lives, uh, and to focus on those relationships. Um, so there's a lot to take in. He gave a great presentation, and then he answered questions for us. He was with us for quite a while, uh, and it was, uh, it was pretty great and pretty amazing to be in the presence of somebody whose work has uh, affected millions and millions of people. Uh, as people got up to do the Q&A, um, they all shared about how Pixar movies had touched them in some way, uh, had changed their lives or their kids' lives, or how they found themselves in the story. And so there was just a, a lot of powerful stuff going on uh, in terms of how people connected with the stories that Pixar uh, has told over the years. Uh, and one of the common themes we found in the places that we visited on this trip is that these uh, missions, these organizations, these ministries um, are really good at storytelling. Like they're really good at telling their origin stories, um, the stories about how people who have participated in them have uh, how their lives have been changed, um, about you know how a personal passion turned into a community um, active, you know, a community uh, organization uh, or activism, and so storytelling is hugely important um, for whatever it is that we're going to do, uh, whatever the Zoe project will be for us and for all of the different churches that are involved. Uh, is being able to tell and retell that story and hone that story over time so that people it resonates with people and people can find themselves in it. Uh, today we have an enormously full day in San Francisco, so we're making up for some of that travel time. Uh, once again, we're broken up into four different groups, so our group will be spread out uh, all over the city. This morning I'm hugely excited that I'm going to be seeing Sarah Miles, who is really one of my personal heroes. Um, Sarah wrote the book uh, Take the Spread, which is one of my favorite religious book of all time. And she started the food pantry at St. Gregory of Nyssa Church in uh, San Francisco here. Um, St. Gregory of Nyssa is a liturgical innovator uh, and they do this food pantry. Um, so Sarah's books Take the Spread and City of God are two of my favorite religious books of all time. And it's going to be awesome to meet her in person today. Um, my group's theme today is food and some social justice work. So after we visit with Sarah, we're taking a tour of a creamery, like an ice cream place, um, whose mission is uh, making community through food. Um, and then we're going to be in the mission and exploring ministry with young adults in the San Francisco mission. Um, and then we're going to have a bread baking, bread baking class and we're going to learn how to make sourdough bread, uh, which should be good because you know I can't cook. <clears throat> so. Uh, we talk about these different domains, these 12 different domains uh, where young adults gather and make meaning and where generally all people gather and make meaning and my themes have certainly revolved around food and social justice. Um, and so as we've talked about what we might do and we're just in the complete dreaming wide open phase, uh, food does seem to be a common theme you know, that brings people together uh, and that puts everybody on level ground as they gather to, to eat. Uh, and to share. So we'll see what comes of that. But it's a foodie day in San Francisco for me and members of our team will be sent out to other places throughout the city and we'll all get to compare notes. Um, yesterday we were asked what is one of our most um, inspiring things or what were you inspired by today? Uh, and the thing that I wrote down was my group. I've been really inspired by my group um, that's been here and 
are such gamers to be on this trip and be doing all these different things with like only hours notice about what we're gonna do next. Oh, we're flying to San Francisco tomorrow. Oh, we're doing this and this and you gotta dress this way. And oh, we're having breakfast and lunch on the bus. And uh, it's all amazing stuff, but you just have to be able to roll with it. So our team has been incredibly flexible and uh, gamers. Uh, and um, we've been on these, we've had this group text going for a whole trip and just to see what people are noticing about the places they visit, um, about people's mission, about the passions they have, about what works about it or what, what, what uh, could work for what we do. Um, it's just been really amazing to have this experience together and to be, uh, be sharing. So I'm getting a group text now <laughs> with lots of emojis. Uh, so we have a full day today in San Francisco. Um, the whole trip has been a completely mind-opening experience about uh, all the different ways that people gather, that they make meaning, uh, that they find mission and purpose, and how they are able to meet needs that are present in their community in ways that are authentic to that community uh, and authentic to who they are and the assets that they bring to it. Um, so this has really been a tremendous experience for all of us. And so we thank you for following us along and thank you for your prayers. And uh, we'll have another dispatches and we'll be posting on our Instagram account and Facebook page. So follow along with us in San Francisco today on that. And we'll talk to you soon. Peace.